Good morning, my friends. This is Tanya at Psychic Crafts. Let's have some fun with watercolors today. It's Watercolor Wednesday, and I am ready to go. Got my Christy Rice paints and paint brushes here. I'm absolutely loving this set, and I want to make some butterflies today. Now, this isn't something I've practiced, but that's what today is about. Wednesdays are for practicing for me. And I hope that you will be inspired to play along. Um, I am doing Watercolor Wednesday as an open collaboration. So if you feel like you would like to paint and use that hashtag, please feel free. I love to see what everybody is creating. And I love to support your channel. So use that hashtag away. I am using Arches Watercolor paper today and we're just gonna we're just gonna paint it up and I'm thinking let's make some beautiful beautiful monarchish butterflies I don't know I'm just making stuff up here I don't have a picture in front of me to uh, copy nothing like that I'm just gonna paint something that looks like a butterfly today my own little made up butterfly. Let's go around. I like to go around the edges and saturate those edges with the, the color so that they're darker on the outside and they can just spread to the inside. Oops, and we're gonna use um, a black marker when we're done to, to outline this. So that will add some fun color there. We're just gonna keep going with that until it kind of fills up towards the middle because it's all gonna to move towards the middle there where it's wet. Just keep outlining, dropping more paint in there. How are you guys? It's Wednesday, it's middle of the week. Anything fun going on? I owe oh, y'all an apology, I missed I missed my own collaboration yesterday with um, 10 Minute Tuesday. I need, I owe you guys a 10 Minute Tuesday. I feel so bad. I got home last night after work. I'm like, oh my goodness. I cannot believe that I did that. All right, now this wing, I want to make sure I get kind of the same shape, which is going to be as you can see, a little awkward for me. I'm gonna make it a little smaller than that one because I think as I paint, I end up widening it out and it will end up being about the same. Learning to turn this brush. This is a different brush. I'm not used to using um, these particular brushes or this shape brush, I mean. Oh, I kind of didn't do that the same way, but that's okay. I'll just fill that in. Um, so it's kind of a um, different for me to learn to turn it. See, I tried to make it smaller and I still made it bigger, which is okay. That's fine. We're going to still end up adding extra pigment to the outside. So it kind of looks a little more like the other one. And then let's go ahead and make these bottom wings. And how am I going to do that? I want to go... I'm gonna go as close to that as I can. I kind of want to leave a gap. Kind of want to leave a gap in there and just kind of spread that. Just making up my own shape with my brush leave little white gaps in there little white spots it's okay it's kind of fun to leave white spots um, because it adds like highlights and different interesting values to it we'll just watch that color go Love that. I 
It's weird. It's like it's there, but it's not spreading, um, which is fine. Totally fine. Now, what can we do? Let's make some little, let's make some little ones too. Let's make, this is blue, right? Is this purple? Yeah, this is a purple color. Let's make some little ones. We can make a, a super cute card front doing this. Well, we've got several several little butterflies just flittering by. I feel like I'm using, I'm gonna try this brush. I'm struggling with that one to get it what I want it to do. You know, if you have problems with your brush, just switch it out. Try something different. Okay, so we've got a little purple one. What other color should we use? We should use a little pink one. Paper towels. Where's my paper towels at? Mm. I'm used to dabbing off that extra water. And then I dabbed it right back in. Let's use this bright pink. Just kind of dab it in there. Making just little teardrop shapes or water drop shapes. Nothing too difficult. go. All right. Now, do we need to add any other colors to this? I'm thinking we don't, but I feel like that was too easy. What do you guys think? Too easy? Like I need to do something more to it, but what? Um, I feel like the rest of it could be done with a marker. There's a couple little splashes that went there. And it kind of looks like a little trail. So I think I'm going to mimic that. As if I did it on purpose. And then I kind of like it. Um, I kind of just want to make it, let's see. I don't have a black, not that I need one. What can I do to make this look a little more interesting? Should we mix some colors and pop it in there? I think it might be too late for some of these. Yeah, I think it'll be 
too late. So what we're going to do, we're going to let this sit a minute. And let's see. Let's work on the ones that are dry. This one's already dry. This one is not. This one already is. This one's mostly, but this one, this one little piece right here is not dry. That's what I'm watching. So let's see. Let's get a... Is this the... Nope. Not the one I thought. 0 0.08. I want a 1 if I have it. I do have it, but not right here. So we'll use this one. So we're going to use this one. A little fuzz on there. And we're going to make some little bodies. Now you could totally do this with paint. But I'm thinking this might be easier. And add the elements that I want. Make his little body rounder and make that little come down a little bit more we could add I'm gonna add antennas but I think I'm gonna do that with a smaller marker let's kind of add some little details here and there make them all different And then they usually have some veins in there. I call them veins. I don't know if that's the technical, if that's what they actually are, but you know. And I think I'm just gonna use this one. There we go. How's that? Is that cute? We'll do the same thing over here. This one's pretty dry now. Pretty dry. Doesn't have to be exact. It's kind of even cuter if it's not. Make some little pokey dots up at the top. Remember, they're all different. Just a little whimsical. There we go. We'll put some little antennas on this one. They can be however you want them to be. What should we do with this one? You guys might be able to draw butterflies way better than me. And if you do, awesome. I'm going to learn from you. 
because mine are in no way amazing. They're cute, but they are not amazing. I don't even want to do too much to that one because I love this, but I do feel like it needs something more. How about if I make circles inside here and then color it in around those circles? See if how that works. There. There we go, we'll do the same thing down here. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. I like this. And I will make it, what I'll do is end up making just a cute little card front with it or something like that. And we're good to go. Now, I, I could do a wash and back, which I think I might do. I might just do that because I don't like the plain white watercolor paper look. So I think what I'm going to do is just a little bit. Just a little, 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 little bit. I'm gonna take some of this blue. It's very bright, so I'm gonna make it very watery. Very, 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 very watery. So that it will be very, 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 very light. And what I'm going to do I'm just going to put some water. Actually, that might work just fine. It's got a blue tint to the water that I'm putting on here right now. I'm going to probably drop a little bit around. Being careful with my marker because I think I picked up the microns and the microns are not water fast. So I want to be careful not rub that too much there. But just kind of put some water around here. Doesn't have to go all the way up to the up to the butterfly, but just lightly kind of glaze it. And then just put a little bit here and there. Just touches a blue, like this blue sky. Let it kind of just, you know, dance. Dance with the butterfly there. Add a little bit of color. Just kind of try to get in there a little bit. Doesn't have to be a perfect wash by any means. There. 
and I did get a little bit of a little bit of blood bleeding from that pin there, but that's okay. Just a touch. And put a little bit more. Now, if you do get it too much in certain places, what you can do, and it's fun to do with skies too, is you can go in and you can just kind of lift some of that. See how that lightens that in spots and just kind of makes it, picks up some of the color. Or if you get any harsh lines, something like that. But it also gives it some interest. So, and I do want to get a little bit right there. Get some of that blue right in there, because I don't like that white right there. You can always touch it up if you need to. There we go. So I think that's going to be fun for a little card. One of these on, on maybe a Friday, we'll do a finish it Friday, and I'll make cards out of that set. I hope you guys like it. I know this was a quick little thing. Nothing super fancy or, or phenomenal, but super cute and fun, relaxing. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope you did too. I hope you guys will get out your watercolors and give it a try. Don't forget to use that hashtag and, you know, tag me on your post so that I can come and support you in your channel. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. Bye-bye.